the Consumer Financial Political Bureau. That's the political diary story written by our colleague Mary Kissel today. Mary, thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me, James. It's uh, supposed to be called the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, and it's supposed to be an independent new regulator, uh, I guess, uh, surveying the financial landscape and making sure no one is being abused uh, by a lender. Um, you found uh, kind of an, an interesting uh, question here on uh, just how independent it really is. Well, we know one thing. The CFPB is totally independent of Congress. Unlike other big regulators, there is no effective check on it. It can just pull money directly from the Federal Reserve. Uh, its director is appointed by the president. So it's very, very independent. Now, whether or not it's political, uh, the news is that Representative Patrick McHenry of uh, North Carolina uh, sent a very interesting letter to CFPB Chief Richard Cordray questioning why it is that all of these top CFPB officials um, are meeting top-level officials at the White House, appearing at White House events, Mr. Cordray himself, uh, you know, going to a staff lunch uh, of the ca yeah, cabinet. Yeah, it is a question because, <laughs> you know, you look, at, uh, it's not, you look at other independent agencies, SEC, FCC, it's not that they never... Uh, Right. Meet people at the White House, but uh, there there is kind of a pattern here, which you've been documenting, and uh, uh, more than more than you would normally expect for what is supposed to be an independent regulator. Yeah, that's right, and this is this is very very important because they don't have that congressional check, and it's also important because the agency has taken a number of actions that suggest that it's not really a nonpartisan neutral regulator. Uh, they're taking uh, enforcement staff along with their oversight staff to go uh, talk to, for example, big banks. And they're saying, well, uh, if you don't lend, for example, to minorities, well, here's this enforcement guy, and he's going to come down really hard on you. This has never been done. The Federal Reserve, the OCC, they don't do these kinds of things. And just last week, they, they uh, released this database of credit card complaints right. that are totally unverified. Well, this so, is what, yeah. You know, look, uh, th this, is, this is totally unprecedented. Uh, it suggests a partisan leaning. You've got the president running on a very anti-capitalist platform against the big banks, against the big credit card companies. And you've got this bureau taking actions that are going to help him. And you have now the added information that we got from this McHenry letter of you know, top staffers going in and talking to people, like, for example, the deputy director of the Domestic Policy Council. Well, what's that all Lots about? Lots of White House contacts. And you mentioned this uh, recent episode where they published on their website just basically raw data, unverified claims against lenders of various kinds. Uh, that I think that would make anyone question the seriousness of this operation. Uh, you, you couple that with, with the White House contacts, and, and there, there is a theme here. It, it seems like every uh, sort of political point the president's making, there's a, there's a, a corollary uh, policy going on here, uh, a student loan issue, right. um, where just coincidentally, the president has been speaking to a lot of enthusiastic crowds of students, and, and here's the, uh, this new quote-unquote independent bureau uh, getting into the student loan Yeah, issue. and you have the head of the bureau, Richard Cordray, in the White House briefing room alongside White House spokesman Jay Carney and the Secretary of Education saying, well, the president wants to help you on student loans. Well, the CFPB will be there to help protect you. Now, look, there's nothing wrong with that if he said it outside of the White House. Right. And it's the specter of him standing up with political figures and saying it. That's it's the issue. Now, look, if Mr. Cordray really wanted to improve the legitimacy of his agency, he would answer this letter in detail. Problem is, James, I don't think that he's going to do that because every single time that Congress has asked for info, yeah, they no, don't give I mean, it to him. To be clear, it's not, nothing illegal, but a but lot of questions. And as we've talked about, uh, Mr. Cordray has this job because the president uh, claimed, him into it. <laughs> claimed it was a congressional recess right. and he could appoint without Senate approval. Senate didn't agree, but... Uh, Anyway, just uh, a very bizarre institution, and uh, let's hope after the next election it's, uh, it's reformed. But uh, thanks, Mary. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me.